And welcome back to this special edition of Meet the Leaders from the Capitol in Albany. And I'm here with New York State Senator, now New York State Senator, Greg Ball, 40th District Senator. Big victory you had recently, Assemblyman uh, last year, now you're a New York State Senator. You just heard the governor's speech. Yeah. How would being a senator, what you heard, how can New York change? You know, I, I think that uh, he, he gave a good speech, number one. Uh, he hit all the right topics from my perspective about taxes and spending. But, uh, and not to you know, qualify it with a but, but I, I have to say is that, you know, we heard many similar things from Elliot Switzer, who was a tough, you know, a, a, a tough leader. He was smart, uh, and then he went and focused on the social issues and got caught up in the legislative process. And everything didn't change on day one. And uh, look, you can't you can't turn a battleship around in 30 seconds. But at the same time, if we don't get it right this year, New York State's going to continue to be a state in decline. We have to get it right this year. So I wish him well on the agenda he laid out. I get a sense, you know, and I've watched politics for a number of years. I get a sense in his heart in his passion. Right. He really believes that if we don't do it the same as you do, it's not going to get done and he's going to fight people that haven't been fought in the past to get it done. I know, and I, you know, I agree with you, and I think he probably has a lot of friends that have already left the state. Uh, many of us do. And we know that uh, we're just going to be, look, when you go to other cities and you go to other states, even in this tough economy, they are building. You know, you go to places like Austin, Texas, there, there yes. are uh, cranes up because there are construction jobs and they're building. And in this state, we're not. And it, it, it has gotten to the point where the government uh, uses the private sector to expand government. And it, it, we really have to be here to get out of the way and let small business owners do what they What's do. What's going to help you more as a New York State Senator now? Because now you're going to be in the majority. Have right. you met with the Hudson Valley Caucus of Senators at all? And what, what, how are you going to be able to work to better fulfill the needs of the uh, Hudson Valley and the state? No, I, I look forward to it. I mean, we have uh, delegation meetings that are that are coming up. I represent parts of you know Westchester, all of Putnam County, and, and uh, a big chunk of Dutchess County. And uh, I, I look forward to, to working with the delegation at, in a bipartisan way. You know, these issues are not Republican or, or Democrat. And uh, the type of uh, rancor and, and partisan bickering has not helped anybody. And I think I think you even see Sheldon Silver yeah, yeah. getting up and now talking about by tax staff. I mean, I. <laughs> And Hell has frozen said, over. When I heard him say that, I was really surprised. <laughs> right, yeah. I have to say, I was really surprised. But just in terms of you being in the Senate, yeah. what is it you think you can get? Because in the minority, you, could, you guys could have a bully pulpit, but you couldn't do much with that right. in the Senate. Yeah. What can you do? Yeah, I mean, you, in the Assembly, and I always say that I went to the Assembly to fight. I'm going to the Senate not only to fight, but, but to lead. And uh, if we can get a tax cap done, I'd like to see uh, freezing school taxes for seniors. Let's focus, everybody focuses on an on-time budget, which is a good thing, but we need a good budget. Let's get state spending in line. And really, by having a Republican state Senate, we already have a tax cap and a cap on spending because we're not going to increase taxes, right. uh, and, and we're going to make sure that we keep a cap on that spending. And just in terms of restructuring government, you know, get committees to understand a way to restructure, is that just another idea of more committees? It better or not be. It better not be because the people uh, demand more, and it better not just be another committee. You know, we don't need another blue ribbon panel to tell us that we're getting killed by taxes. We have to get something done. So if that committee comes together uh, and we're able to actually institute real change and get rid of this labyrinth of excessive government that exists currently, then that's a good thing. Albany has to change from top to bottom. And like I said, not to go back to that 800-pound gorilla, Sheldon Silver, but even he seems to have heard the, the chorus coming out of the, the communities across the state. And the last question for you, when yep. you get to the Senate, working with your colleagues, working with the governor, what's the first thing you think needs to happen coming out of the gate to try to stop what's happening in New York? First thing we need to do is comprehensive school tax reform. That is number one. And you want to talk about uh, reigniting our economy and getting going again. If you take away that burden, or at least uh, stabilize it, you will do more to help the economy in the Hudson Valley, Long Island, everywhere in between than anything else. Okay, Greg Ball, New York Thank State you. Senator. It's a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. We'll see pleasure you back in the here. district. Okay? I'm glad you don't have the sniffles this time. No, I don't. <laughs> it's a fun, exciting time here. And we'll be back with more. That was Greg Ball, New York State Senator. spirit we're hot we can't be stopped we got the spirit we're hot we can't be stopped we're gonna beat them and bust them the smallest beat moments beat can have the biggest beat impact beat on a child's life take time to be a dad today all those boys are much too much those boys